Yo, YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. I don't know how many people are going to be here. I don't know who's clicked on this video, but if you have, I haven't heard this album yet. Hopefully we are in for a treat. I don't know if you know, but West Side Boogie is in my top five uh, rappers that are in the game right now that are not cream of the cream of the crop at the top. Like, I'm not including fucking J. Cole. I'm not including Drake. I'm not including Eminem. I'm not including any of these guys who are... My top five would be already full if I included who needs to be... They're in, like, their upper echelon level category. Just under that, where we have Jid, where we have Westside, where we have Corday, where... These motherfuckers... Westside's in my top five. He's probably top two, maybe top one. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. But we've been waiting for three years. This album has been pushed back for probably seven months at this point. Don't know what to expect. Really not too much to say. Everybody show up on uh, Twitch. If y'all guys want to uh, catch these things when we do them live, we do them live every Friday. This happens to be done on Monday because we had, uh, what do we have? Oh, Logic and Drake that dropped on the same day on Friday. So we pushed this one because I wanted to dedicate my energy to it on its own. Um, so if y'all guys want to join stream, I strongly suggest you do. You get to be a part of the commentary, the reaction, the whole thing. Also, if y'all guys want to join Patreon, all of the reactions and album reactions we do, they go on Patreon in full if you miss the raw stream. And that's really the only place to view it because you can't go back on Patreon and see the VOD. I mean, on Twitch and see the VOD. So Patreon is the only place to view the full raw video. Other than that, we got 12 tracks. We've already heard I. We've already heard Stuck. Both of them super fire. So we got 10 more to go. And we got Killer Mode first. Let's get it. Killer Mode. Killer Mode. Killer Mode. In a fight with my mind, 50 bands in a day, when he more, but I'm straight. Bro, I don't know if I love Ratchet Boogie or if I love In My Feels Boogie more. I think it's In My Feels at all times because it's so rare. Outside of Drake, there's not really another rapper who's able to articulate pain in a, like a very unique way. Outside of what uh, Drake and then West Side Boogie is the only other one that I can think of. Relationship pain, not like pain in life from like being in the hood, that kind of shit. No, it's a bitch that I'm blocking for sure. She thinks she gonna ask me what time I was born. Know that these niggas won't give me. Talk to them, bug. He said, you know, you know, I'm blocking you if you asking me what time I was born. Red flag number one. And you know why it's red flag number one? Because they always ask you mad early into the date number one. What time were you born? All of my opposite turn into hurdles. All of my problems becoming internal. It's all my life you suck in a circle. Like fucking I'm hurt, so I might as well hurt you. Covered in blood while I'm hanging with sharks. Covering Ooh. the mud, it puts stains on my heart. Holding a grudge and I'm taking it far. In a fade with my brain. First track. It's a solid opening track. It's up. I mean, the opening track on his last album was solid as fuck, too. For those that never heard it, or if you like didn't come in stream in time, I played it in the intro of the, of the stream. Yeah, it's just like that internal struggle, internal battle. We saw an interview of his and he talked about he's doing a lot of therapy, you know, and therapy works after so many times that you go, you're finally starting to like break down the barrier. It takes like a year. Therapy only works if you allow it to work. You know, that's the whole concept of the album is more black superheroes and superheroes people paint them to be like these larger than life people that are here to save the day when really you just need to like break down all of the negativity inside of you as long as you stop the generational trauma you're a superhero in that in that sense crazy opening track definitely eight for me i would say so we're gonna hear stuck again because stuck goes crazy be the driver when i'm slump be my nigga if you clutch i ain't saying fight my battles you ain't gotta be my crush Lacking in a party swear to god i can't sit up straight Wait. Man, the beat is just so sad. So sad about the fact that he's stuck hard. No my heart can turn a rock, so I don't take that shit for granted. Shout out pre pre friend the east. That little bitch at Demi Scanners. Hit me up at 2 a.m. You gotta let me fuck. Be the driver when I'm slump. The my heart can turn to rock, so I don't take that shit for granted line is so crazy. And then so was the still put chips up in a sandwich because there's shit you can't escape. I can't escape the hood mentality. Hard, bro. The video on this music video is crazy. Like he's literally like stuck to the hood in the video. She gon' play me, got the ceiling in my cup. Damn, I'm paranoid as fuck. That little bitch right there, me. That little bitch right there, me. Be the driver when I'm slump. Hard, son. This song is a fucking nine. This song might be a nine and a half for me. Just the pain in the voice, bro. He wants to get out the hood, but he feels like he's stuck. But also, he loves to be stuck. I do enjoy this single more than I enjoyed the first single. The first single was fire. But again, I like emotional introspective book more than I like ratchet book. And the first single was ratchet book. Yo, 
That track is hard. What's it missing for a 10? I don't even know if it's missing anything for a 10. It might be a 10, to be honest. I might just be holding it back because I'm I'm reluctant to give things a 10. Um, but this is up here with LOL SMH off of his last album, and that song is a 10 for me. So far, two for two. Exactly what I wanted. Let's go. He put a clip of this, I think. She hit me with that little nonchalant thing. I think that's how it goes. I called you up, you hit me with the nonchalant thing. There you go. I don't even think you want me. Bro, the nonchalant, I don't give a fuck, shoulder shrug shit. Acoustic is such a switch up. She in the crystal to release a meditation at the beach. I'm in there acting like a thief. It come and taking all the peace. How many bodies do you got on the north? Bro, I'm coming in like a thief to take all the peace. She with crystals at the beach to release. You see what I'm saying? Shit is hard. Maybe I was huge to you when we was really something. Or maybe I'm delusional you know, when we was never nothing. Never mm. nothing ever. You hear I that like... You, you hit me with the nonchalant thing. This is what I'm saying. Him and Drake are the only two artists that I know that can like take a complicated ass relationship. They're the only two rappers that I know that have that capability. Next time you whoa, whoa. Call, I'ma just let the phone ring. Be rude to me, uh -huh. Don't just move on. That's so fucking cruel to me. All your other sides was forever new to me, but then you got used to me. Don't move on so easily. That shit's rude to me, bro. The song's crazy because the beat is so like angelic and, and light. When we make it back to land, that's when the convo get. That's when the convo get dry. Just so much passive aggressiveness i had touched down on land that's when the conversation gets dry i think of a caption and subtweet you in it hopefully you see it to get a reaction like all it is look this is the difference between this is one of the things that i had to say about uh about logic's album no question about it that's another eight eight and a half just because of like the vibe it's like light you know what i mean it's light but the but it's like the lyrics are confused the lyrics are a bit of like emotional mystery what's happening between us where are we you know type of situation all right lol smh part two calling this song lol smh part two it puts a lot of pressure on this song because lol smh is probably gonna be his fan base's like cult favorite song you know, obviously people are going to listen to Rainy Days because Eminem and all of that. But like just Boogie fans, most of them are going to say LOL SMH are their favorite songs. Here we go. Let's see what this one got. I've been placing my value off relevance in your life. Mm. Promise I'll be okay. Tell me that I'll be straight. I Did he say I've been placing my value off relevance in your life? <laughs> like I need to stop doing that. You know, I got to value myself for who I am, not who I am to you. You got to stop deflecting every time you show affection. See my ego break to pieces every time I stand corrected. And Ooh. I got a bump. Yo, this is just as good as LOL SMH part one already. Bro, he's spitting right now. He going crazy. Pardon my deflection every time that you try to show some affection. I've been I've been brought up toxically. I didn't have a full family structure, so that weighs on my soul. I'm barely learning to get rid of that, so pardon me. Pardon my growth. It's not always going to be easy for you. Got this blanket full of lies to cover up how much I miss you. Ooh, to Ready cover up how much I miss you? Don't give me your praises. Just want you to know that even heroes still need saving. So tell me who's going to save me. Even heroes still need saving. He's not the first one to say that, but it's still a hard bar, especially with the whole heroes. That's what I like about the album title, is that I know he's not talking about being like this strong, masculine guy superhero superman he's talking about breaking down internally and showing emotion when that's normally not allowed in the hood quote unquote it's like toxic masculinity you need to rule off you can't have any kind of emotion because people are going to see that as weak so in his eyes the superhero side is going the other way from a traditional superhero honestly this been feeling like some shit that i can't shake the reverb is crazy bro not him saying smh fuck like he did on the first one Shit that I can't shake, SMH. Yeah, I don't know why you keep shaking your head. Like, you're the hero for showing younger black children in the hood. Like, his, like he is stopping the toxic masculinity with him and his generation. So he's trying to show the younger generation that it is okay to feel. It's okay to be down. It's okay to be depressed, have anxiety. It's okay to be going through emotional issues like you don't have to cover that up. That's the hero who needs saving, being a hero for the next. So that way, hopefully they don't need saving. Because somebody was there to tell him that all of this is okay. Remember days I was making hate up for motivation. Got reservations. He treated his fame like a prison. I know that nigga cap and he won his name to be bigger. I know. You know the quote it go. Do the most. Extra out. Niggas make me anxious. Smoke an ounce before I head it out. I've been back. I've been down. I've been flat. I've been jacked. No, that's cap. Never that. Better back. You better. Hey, yo. Dog, why you hesitating? Calm as can be. Just know it's all 
in the preparation. Crazy. Call me. Fuck, fuck this shit. Crazy fucking track, bro. He still kept with the LOL, SMH, two different sides of the song. He, he did that on the first one, too. That's just as good as the first one. People are going to be more open and accepting of the first one, I think. Not accepting, but it's going to be more relatable to people's lives because it's more about... The first one is more about a complicated relationship, which people are going to feel that more than they're going to feel like him being introspective. If LOL, SMH, part one is a 10, which to me it is... This is a nine and a half or a 10. It is that level of he didn't let me down. Like a lot of times when people, I feel like when artists names things that are like a clear sequel, a lot of the times it rubs me the wrong way. I'm like, are you doing that because you're trying to get hype up around the song or around the album? Like Marshall Mathers LP and then now we have Marshall Mathers LP 2. LOL SMH 1, LOL SMH 2, Skydive 1, Skydive 2, Food and Liquor and then Food and Liquor 2. He is one of the artists where if I see a part two, I don't even hesitate to think that it's not going to be good. Like I'm not, I'm not like, ooh, I don't know if it's going to live up to the first one. I'm like, it's going to live up to the first one. I will say that there is clear, like uh, there is clear mental progress between these two songs the mental progress between this song and then the one we just had like this one is like they are clearly like deep in toxicity like you can hear it she shoulder shrugs she show the world she don't give no fucks even though she do she got a story that she can never show anyone because she's scared if she opens up people are gonna have leverage on her like that mentality is such a dangerous one to have bro and like just the whole nonchalant like we shoulder shrugs to pretend like we don't give a fuck, but clearly it's hurting us deep down, but we're not going to show the world. We're not going to tell anybody. Just like now that I know what the second song sounds like, part two, that song makes me even more sad because of how like in that toxic, immature mentality, like how deep both of them in the song are. Like the first song sounded like very fucking like, I'm good, I, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? That's what it sounded like. Like, I'm going to do me over here. I don't like you don't bother me whatsoever. This one is like, all right, I've kind of breaking down from that. They are on equal stands for each other for the songs that they are. This song isn't as good as it is without the first one. And the first one is even better now that this one is out. You know what I'm saying? Like the first song is even sadder than it initially was now that I hear the growth in the second song. This is the song, though, that I was excited about here because Soldier Boy, out of all the features that you could have got, we got Mr. Kiss Me Through the Phone. Let's see. I'm expecting Ratchet Bug right here. Watch him gonna switch up in front of the bitches and then get to lie on his homies that die. Boy, that shit's scary, so I can't even lie. Even lie. Yeah, you this is Ratchet play, Bug right here. Say, and I honestly can't even give you my line. Boy, you a bitch and I can't even lie. I didn't got commas inside of the Honda. Honestly, Ooh. wasn't too close to my father. You know I won't lie if I say on my mama like... Bro said I wasn't close too close to my father so you know i ain't lie when i say on my mama because she's the only one that i had like what is you stupid little bitch she keep on tweeting these quotes about marriage and hope so you know that i muted the bitch Fuck is you, you know, know that, that i muted the bitch man said you know that i muted the bitch <laughs> put it on god put it on me watch him gonna switch it bro he's sliding so hard here goes soldier here goes soldier Let's see what this motherfucker's got bro hey yo he kind of going crazy not even gonna lie his bars are nowhere near as intricate clearly you know he's not that type of rapper but he is sliding though Pop out that cut with a chopper, leave a nigga missing hellcat watch it hissing Hellcat watching Hisson, that's kind of a bar. But if you ain't got to play, you ain't got shit to say, and I honestly can't even give you my line. He said, if you ain't play, you ain't got shit to say, and honestly, I can't even give you my line. Like a play, like you're like lines in a play. But if you ain't actually about the life. Honestly, I can't even lie. I was kind of expecting him to come in and fuck the whole song up. Just because of what the way his last project sounded. He went hard right there. He killed that. In my opinion, 21 would have been nice. Ooh, 21 would have went crazy on that too. I'll probably give him kind of even lie a seven and a half, maybe even an eight. Soldier Boy did his thing. Soldier Boy did his thing. That's probably the easiest song out of all of them besides Stuck. That's probably the easiest song to bump. Like if this comes on. This is going to be the easiest song to jam to in the car. It's not really about no relationship shit. Kind of just about, I can't even lie. Watch him gonna switch up in front of the bitches and then get to lie on his homies that die. Yeah, yeah, that shit is hard. It's like an eight, maybe an eight and a half, to be honest. Holy shit. Stuck for me is like a 10. LOL SMH is a 10. I could see nine, 10 for either one of those. Kilomoto's eight. 
Stuck, 9 or 10. Nonchalant, 8. LOL SMH, 9 or 10. Kenny and Lie, 8. Next up, Prideful. What you getting into? You say I only hit you up when I got nothing to do. Mm. I think this is also a sequel off the first album. Like you would never know the pain that you getting me through. Mm. I'm the one that gave you traction every time that you got stuck. Guess your memory got crushed. Forgot I showed up in the clutch. Now you up in the Guess your memory got crushed the way I showed up in the clutch. I was the one that gave you traction when you got stuck. I think that I've been giving too much credit to myself. I always say I put you on. Ooh. I'm sure you would have made it on your own. If I'm bitter, you can hear it in my tone. I need to leave that shit alone. I ain't put you in this on that prideful shit bro you will never know the pain that you're getting me through because i'm too prideful to tell you but i'm also too prideful to say that i need you i need you but i'm not going to tell you why but i'm also not going to tell you i need you tell me how she is stylish but don't got love for the biz mm. yeah, you fuck with the kid and you see me it's just a gig oh you follow my ex you must be messy on the low i ignore the ref oh you follow my ex you must be messy on the low bro also whoever is the singing in the background like the chick singing in like falsetto above you were just my pause i'm seeing truth i'm trying to prolong days been getting so long catch you for you doors off like in and two bro they never reply i call a ride when you tell me come through telling you multiple syllables makes things so much easier to listen to even if it's just two even if it's just two syllables that's all i need there's nothing less than an eight right here there's nothing less than an eight on this album and i don't know if we're gonna get one less yeah be obviously better than prideful part one um off of thirst 48 part two was it part two or part one i think it's part two right bro the good the thing about west side is that like if you go back and you listen to his discography in like from front to back it's just like every one he's getting better. Every one he's getting better. Again, like if you listen to Prideful and you listen to this one, Prideful too, like you can hear the connection between the two and how they go hand in hand together. That's one of the things that I find the most intriguing about his part twos is that they always they always relate to the the part one in some way. So like you once you listen to the part two, now when you hear part one, you're like, oh, part one doesn't really bang as much as it did before the part two. Like part one banged. But now that part two is here, now it doesn't bang as much without them together. Listen, we already heard this one. This was a uh, this was the lead single on the album. But, I ain't kicking it with no. But you gonna play it though. Alright. I, I, I had to fall away before I got it right. The West Side bounce on this, is cr or the West Coast bounce on this track is crazy. I took the L the other day, this shit was like got this little cheese that I'ma pick up from my side. They ain't know that I've been uh, big stepping, big stepping, learn my lesson. If cheese niggas ain't right. laughing, niggas be bluffing, niggas ain't tough, they just high as hell. And these bitches be right. running, never got money. He let the bitches head of Fendi rock Balenci's with the dickies, huh? Ho. Had to throw the fit away if anybody touched me had to get it in my bro the west side bounce is the west coast bounce is so crazy this is probably the closest to a radio single that we're gonna get from west side boogie you know and it's still not even like that radio it's still very west coast it might get played like in the west coast but it's a very regional sound i already heard it so there's not too much to rate there that's probably another that's probably that's probably a seven and a half that's probably a seven and a half for me that's probably the one we're gonna go under dub that boogie went on colors yeah that's super tight because colors is fire um so far seven for seven let's see what we got we got another feature Smino and Tizo touchdown can't get over you. Was I just a face? Hit me when you fall down from space. I'm caught in the days. I'm just floating right now on this one, bro. Hella low five vibes. Toxic gets the front on in my doobie when I lace it. Ooh. Like my Air Force Ones, I still be running crazy. I had to do rag the ridges trying to make new waves. Trying to do anything. Had to do rag trying to, try to make new waves. Machine. I feel like Smino is probably in that same level as West Side. Like they're on the same like I don't know about where they are in their career, but they're they're gonna hit the same levels. You know what I mean? Like Smino's never gonna blow up and be like a like a A list going to the Met Gala. He's never gonna be that level of star. And neither is West Side just because their sounds they stay true to who they are sound wise. And their sounds they're just like they have their following. They're gonna get more following through word of mouth. And that's all that they want or need, you know? Smino is definitely nowhere near as consistent as Westside is. Even for that matter, Saba's not as consistent as Westside is, I don't think. But if I had to order him, I'd probably go Westside, Saba, and then Smino. Hey. Twin, same baby? That's kind of a bar. Yeah, still, that'd be crazy. 
just such a vibe, this song. I mean, if you put Saba above West Side, that's fine. That, that's an understandable opinion as well. I think that Everything for Sale is a classic album. Screen's going crazy right here. Yeah, that's just a nice little vibe. There was too many features for me because, you know, I'm here, especially only, especially if there's only 12 songs, I want the features to only be on the hooks, if anything. And if there are feature verses, I want them to only be one. You know, I want two verses from West Side on every song minimum. Uh, so the fact that we had like West Side, Smino, and it's just, just too much going on in the song, but the beat is a nice little lo-fi beat. I won't skip it in album order, but I will skip it in shuffle more than likely. Exactly. He barely had a verse. That's what I'm saying. All right. So that one I'm probably going to give like... That one I'll probably give like a six and a half. I want to probably give a six and a half just because there's too much non West Side on a 12 track, 37 minute album. Like if you're going to give us 37 minutes every three years, I want it 95% to be you. All right, let's go. Ratchet book. I was outside with the thirst in my eyes, with my shirts oversized, so my homie don't show. Move forward, not a boy on your move board. No horror, all this yours, don't be too short. Hey, yo, he's sliding right now, bro. On your mood board? Oh my God, another red flag, ladies and gentlemen. Asking for your birth time? Sage in the crib, mood boards. That's it. Three strikes, you're out. Took a tour of the hood, it's a new war. I shit like, uh, shit I had to know when it cracked that my humbleness was holding me back. Told you I'm back in your city to tap and it hit me. You better not be fucking nobody. No, I ain't chasing you, bitch. I was outside with the thirst in my Hey, yo. He going crazy on this one, bro. He is going crazy. And it's crazy that like the beat is just as chill as all the other beats on the album. But, this, I, but the vibe of his... Of his verse is like a total switch up, you know what I mean? Oh, ain't nobody bigger than a program, and ain't nobody bigger than a game. Nigga, you just confused. Just accept that you ain't shit. Damn, you see, this is why you don't open up. This is why you don't open up. Cause then they have leverage on you. That song was crazy. That beast. We didn't get a verse. It was kind of like an outro switch up. Hard though. That track is still an eight. We're back to over eight. We had two in a row. So this is where we're at. Killer Mode, eight. Stuck, 10. Nonchalant, eight. LOL, SMH, 10. Can't even lie. Probably eight and a half because Soldier Boy's fucking slid, if I'm being honest. Prideful Part 2, eight. I, I'm probably going to give it a seven. Can't get over you, six. Six and a half. Ragic Boog, we're back up to fucking eight. But even the six, six and a half, they're not necessarily misses because they're vibes, but... It's just not enough West Side on Can't Get Over You. That's the only one where I'm like, fuck. Something Strange, another two feature. We already heard Mommy. She was the one on Nonchalant. So I'm assuming she's going to be the hook. And then Kalan, for real, for real. Don't know who that is. So let's see. Bro, it's so soulful, this album, or no? Anybody agree? Something strange in the water. Sweet like the whole pack of Starbucks. So Ooh, sweet. Hey, that's a bar, bro, because it's such an innocent bar. Sweet like the whole pack of Starbursts. You know what I'm saying? Only reds, though. That's law. Sweet like the whole pack of Starbursts. So sweet. And no matter what I say, I'm always going to come. Yeah. His cadence. No how much you hate his cadence reminds me of a little baby a little bit. Anybody feel a little baby right here? Gotta be something it's got like that water, melodic trap rap that sound. Me want you all the time, I've been floating this entire album. I'm in euphoria. This is Sunset with the top down drive type music. I think that's the vibe he was trying to go with because obviously he's trying to like grow out of the toxic phase and you're know, going to therapy and the whole thing. So it's not going to be anywhere near as like defensive as the last album was. So it's going to be opening to like, you know, in inviting happiness into your world. So that's what that's kind of what it sounds like. Like we're still not perfect. You know what I mean? Because we're still toxic. It's not we're not just shedding that overnight. But we're working on it and we're allowing what normally used to be filled with all toxicity. We're allowing some of that to leave to come in and fill with positivity, you know? So this track right here with the three features for me was better than Can't Get Over You with Smino and Tizo. I'll probably get on like a seven and a half. I could see seven. I could even see six and a half maybe because Boogie didn't really rap there. Um, it was more just like of a, like I said, like a floating euphoria, kind of like a little love song type situation. Still no miss though on the album for me. Those two with the most features have been the weakest for me. Exactly, Edgar. I feel the same. Windows down, Snoop Dogg. Let's get it. I was surprised on this feature too, but not really because he's from the West Coast, California, Compton, the whole thing. Roll the windows down. Almost dead. It's like 10 more miles. Uh, 10 more miles? Window. 10 more miles is not almost there. That's kind of far. Nigga, pass the shit. Every time we smoke, you turn into some activists and I ain't even ask you shit. I got a lot of baggage. Should I take it on this acid trip? 
Uh, oh no, my inside had glass in it. I got a lot of baggage. Should I take it on this acid trip? Who oh no, my inside had glass in it. Mm. Uh, I never noticed till you shattered it. Yeah, I'm in my feels, baby. Young. Who knew my insides had glass in it? I didn't know until you shattered it. Let me hear your subs loud. Born in front of the bullet. I get there. Pee from gun sounds. My generation oh, want to fight now. the bullet? To the sun Driving to the sunset while running from the come down. Let's see what you got, Snoop. And this bitch looking at me like, nigga, you show sure got style. Marijuana leaf inside a wood with no seeds, nigga. Has to take a puff. That thing will hit your ass right away. Feeling like I'm levitating to the clouds. Never hate congratulate you with a smile. Can we just talk about how crazy of a moment this probably was for our boy Westside Boogie right here? Could you imagine growing up in Compton? Obviously, Snoop Dogg is a god. And now here you are with him on your album. Snoop's verse was mid. I'll give you that. And it's only because Snoop raps too literally about the weed. Westside's rapping about the weed, but it's also like, you know, talking about the high and the euphoria from the weed and the relationship, you know, with females and the whole like introspectiveness. It just happens to go around smoking where Snoop is kind of talking directly about smoking, which is fine. I mean, I don't expect Snoop to have anywhere near the layered, the layered technicalities and layered like just emotion that West Side's verse has. But this has got to be a crazy Snoop all about that gas. <laughs> it's hard to put Snoop and West Side together just because people are not going to like old heads are not going to like me saying this. But West Side Boogie is a better rapper than Snoop Dogg is. That's just all there is to it. I feel like it's an old head thing to think that the prior generation that they are better rappers than today's generation when in reality everybody gets better as time ages if we, if we all still sounded like sugar hill gang that shit would be ass if we all if we were all still going uh, huh, 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 like on every fucking bar like they used to do in the 80s you know Everybody gotta help me for a crash uh, i feel like i've been running from the past uh, oh shit we're I getting a little jazzy switch up y'all hear like the jazz like symbols coming in i've been scarred i've been cut i've been stabbed i've been uh, Oh my god, this I feel like I hate it when the niggas I don't know. Hey yo, this beat my dog back. This don't last. I'm a I think that switch up saved the song for me, to be honest, guys, right there. I think that saved the song. That shit was hard. How do you even find a pocket on this hoe? I would have never found a pocket on that beat. Ain't no way I would have found a pocket there. Without that second part coming in, it was probably gonna be like a six because of Snoop. Snoop just ain't built like that anymore, in my opinion. Does anybody feel like that? Snoop ain't built like that to be able to hang with the likes of someone that's built like West Side Boogie. Oh, yeah, an easy eight if Snoop wasn't on there. If it was just the one verse, breakdown, beat switch up, breakdown again, easy eight. Snoop Dogg's part wasn't bad enough for me to skip the song, if that makes sense. Like, if this came on, I would have been like, ah, oh, fuck, the Snoop Dogg verse, and then skip. I would actually listen to the song. We're down to our last track, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony war anthony is a character in this little in this little like story of more black superheroes for those that don't know anthony is probably going to be the less toxic but still very in my feels don't know yet i'm assuming the war that we're talking about is internal hey for biology because i barely know you so how you give me your qualities bother me shit you got it man said painful biology because i barely know you so how you give me your qualities i really got this hate for you I really hate for me because niggas say I got my faith for you. Oh man, this is going to be the heaviest song on the album, right? Talking about his dad that wasn't there. I hate for you, but I hate for me because I have your face and this emotion ain't sustainable. I'm going to break down eventually. My heart like 20 below with a lot of fumes that just taught me how to breathe inside a toxic room. My feet cold. My heart 20 below with a lot of fumes because I'm angry in the inside. All that did was ta teach me how to breathe in a toxic room, bro. You see what I'm saying about Boog? Emotional Boog is my favorite, bro. Just the way he be articulating shit. My head fried, made me think heaven low and hell high. Mm. Just hell watch. Niggas swear blaming their daddy issues is gonna heal him. Like. You still ain't shit. I don't understand what's not clicking. See, and then that's that toxicity, bro. That that keeps you like internalize this is why he says that letting your emotions out is a superhero trait because you got shit like that to deal with when you do let your emotions out you're like i think that all of my issues and my lack of commitment and my lack of respect from women all that i think that's all stems from my father being absent 
And then here she go talking about that's an old excuse that's already played out. Give me another reason. Like, bitch, I'm telling you that's the reason. I'm not asking you. Scared if you open up, they gonna have leverage on you. I think that your top three got a year left. Give them three tops. Oh my shit full of heat rock. Knowing the depths come. It's when the respect come. The beat, yeah. the beat switch was so like subtle too. It like slowly trans, bro. Bro, knowing when death come, that's when the respect come. Didn't I just say that about Tupac? Hey, hey, I thought you had my back. Why you go switch on me? Mm -hmm. Shit on me. Activated my ratchetness and shit. That's when I'm in my best. Uh, I said, trying to fight stress, trying to fight y'all, trying to fight me. Uh, I don't want love. I just want head trying to be free. Uh, name a bitch that I see a lot. Hit them all with the all way. Hit them all with the get a pop. That's the album, ladies and gentlemen. Not another miss. It's probably another eight, eight and a half. We don't have a sing. For me, we don't have a single miss on the album. This is going to be one of the better albums of the year, I feel like. And I feel like when I say things like that, it sounds like I'm standing, like I'm not giving fair criticism. But to be honest, if you just listen to the cadence, you listen to the voice, you listen to the production, the beat choices, the everything about it, the the struggle in the in the lyrics, the toxicity in the lyrics, the hating certain situations but not being able to get out of them it's hard to deny what we're hearing at this point if you are denying what you were hearing then it's not me being a stan it's more of you being like having a mental block or wanting to be a hater on the on the ability it's top five for the year denzel is at my top at the moment denzel is still right here for me but that's only because i've had time to digest denzel's once i listen to this one more i'm like familiar with the songs enough to be able to compare the two albums in my head without having to hear them, then I'll say whether this is better than Denzel's.